Hello, this is Michelle Testimony. Um, happy Thursday. I'm just here um, to talk about Christy and her baby mamas, how they getting along and stuff like that. Now, I feel that um, the video that she made that we finna watch here was a pretty good video. And this is how we, as women, should get along with each other. Especially if we have children by the same man and stuff like that. I feel that we shouldn't be bickering and fighting with each other and all that kind of stuff. I feel that we should at least try or attempt to make a community of, you know, good enough for our children to live in. Not all this ratchet stuff that everybody be seeing on Maury and Jerry Springer and all that kind of stuff. Because to be honest, to tell you the truth, um, this is how this is how um, other races see black women as ghetto and ratchet and stuff like that. What you practically see on Maury and Jerry Springer, and you know what? All of us is not like that. Majority of us is not like that. All right. It's just sad. But um, listen to what Strong Mommy Chris is saying. I didn't steal anybody from anybody. Um, but we didn't always get along just for one reason or another. You know, it's one of those things. It's just like, you the old, I'm the new. And there's usually that tension or that animosity there. She's saying that she didn't steal like uh, that, but it's the way that it is a lot of times in a lot of parents' situations. So we did not like each other. Not for really one particular reason or another. Not saying that it was because I stole anybody from anybody. It just was, I was the new, she was the old. And I think we just, we didn't even give each other a chance. We just automatically didn't like each other because of that fact. You know what I'm saying? That kind of hindered how it goes. us from ever trying to get to know one another. I kind of let him deal with her and I kind of stayed out of it. I had my, my opinions and I just was like, whatever. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to be bothered with it. It has nothing to do with me. That type of situation. Um, but after me and him split, we had some conversations. In the beginning of our conversations, we still didn't like each other. We were arguing back and forth. We weren't necessarily fighting over anybody, but we were just like, like I said, we didn't know each other, and all we knew of each other was like animosity. So we argued and stuff like that, and it was kind of like, if, when I see you, it's going to be hands on sight, that type of situation. And then I feel like as time went on, we kind of just like, we're like, what are we fighting over? Neither of us are with this person. Our kids are siblings. What are we really fighting about? Like, hmm. what's the purpose? Because. And that is so funny. You know what baby mamas, you know, fight about. It's really nothing serious. We just practically fighting over a ninja that ain't worth of shit. Yes, I said, ain't worth shit. Well, anything is, we we really ain't fighting over something that is even worth anything. We not. We we fighting over something that's don't even make no sense. Well, here we go. We really don't have any reason to be mad at each other. Exactly. And so I think once we realized that, we were like, okay, let's just be cool. You know, we once we talked to each other more, I think we really realized really how much we had in common like we really have a lot in common um and she's not she's not a bad person mm -hmm. and i i think i spent a lot of time looking at it from his side and i feel like men do that a lot men will pit you against the ex because of what they went through with that person and you got to remember there's always two sides to every story and when you're with somebody it's hard to see the other side it's so easy to see the story that you're fed and so i think like i said we just didn't know enough about each other so when the distraction was out of the way, <laughs> loud as birds, when the distraction went away and it was just me and her left to like deal with our issues, our we kind of realized we don't have any issues with each other. <laughs> like we weren't the issue. We weren't the problem. He was. So now we're cool. Yeah, excuse me. If we can just see that, if we can just look past the ping I think we will be a better 
group of race here. You know, I think we uh, would be um, looked at in another light if we can just see past the pain. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We talk on a regular basis. Get this mask off. Um, like I said, our kids are siblings, and um, she has a daughter by my ex. You know, y'all know I have the, the boys by my ex. So mm -hmm. we have kids that are siblings, and I think at this point we're really just like, let's just be cool. We have a, we share a common denominator. That's the ex. But neither of us are worried about that. Let's just be cool for the kids. Mm -hmm. And honestly, that's how it really should be, guys. Yes, that's I'm how it should sorry be. sorry that it took me so long to really realize, you know what? That's okay, Christy. Because we got women out here never um, get it. Anything to me, you know what I'm saying? All my issues were with him. They Nigga were then moved her. on and everything. So, and, you know, like I said, after getting these to know girls her, still fight. With her, I'm like, damn, she is so cool. Like, she's cool. She's somebody that I could hang out with. And, you know, things like that. And so now that we live in the same state, we're going to be getting the kids together and ha letting them grow up and have a relationship with each other, which That's is good. so important to me. That is so important to me for them to know their family, to know where they come from. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. I want my kids to know all their siblings. I want my kids growing up not knowing who their siblings are. And then you never know. You might, you know... Be attracted to your siblings. It happens. You know what I'm saying? You never, because if you don't meet your siblings, you don't know who you run into in life, and you might mess around and see somebody in the club and be like, oh, that person's attractive, and mess around might be your sister or your brother. You know what I'm saying? It's important to know where you come from and to know who who you're related to in life. There's not enough of that. There was a meme a couple of years ago that I saw, and it was like. It was not even a meme. It was a viral picture on Facebook, and it was, like, the dad and two moms and their kids had, like, all went to Disney. Um, and one was with the guy and one wasn't, but they were all, like, a co like a big happy family, and they took all their kids That's good. to Disney, and they did, like, a family trip, and they had shirts that said, one one said, Oops. Sorry, you guys. Like stepmom, one said mom, and one said dad. <laughs> and then they had the kids. It was such a cute picture. It went viral. I'm not sure if you guys remember that or not, but... It was so cute. Writing's not that easy. Commercial. Really can help. This sentence is. Hey, you gotta get paid. You gotta feed them babies. That is the idealistic version of black parenting or co-parenting, especially Why? with somebody. And I know a lot of people who have a successful co-parenting relationship like that. I just don't think it happens nearly enough. Mm -hmm. I think we're pitted against each other. From the get, before we even get to know each other or meet each other, we're already supposed to hate each other. I know the internet wants us to be mad at each other, and there's this rumor floating around that I stole him from somebody. And honey, child, boo, no. We talked about this, we laughed about it, um, because after everything that came out recently, that was a lot of the things where people were saying, like, oh, you stole him anyway, so you shouldn't be surprised, if, you know, you know. And I was just like, we laughed about it on the phone the other day, and I was like, girl, this is crazy. And she's like, girl, I don't know it's crazy because I haven't been with him in years. <laughs> like, far away before I even met him, she was done dealing with him. So, <laughs> you know, basically, I guess I just made this video to say, y'all, we have way too much anger, and it's usually behind a guy, you know? And when you take all the distractions away, these birds are just... You know how they are. When you take all the birds away, I mean, when you take all the, the birds too, when you take all, all of the distractions away and strip down all the BS and you just really get to know a person, you're like, damn, we have a lot of similarities. We actually would probably be friends outside of this. Mm -hmm. So let's just, fuck it, let's just be friends. Um, and so now I think it's, it's fun to be able to like have somebody to bounce things off of. And I enjoy it. Like I said, she's not the only baby mama that I'm cool with. Of course. Um, like, she's not my only... Uh, from this ex, yes, but I have other exes we know. who have relationships with women who I'm actually cool with them. Now, are we as cool as me and my ex's baby mama? Maybe not. We don't talk on a daily basis, but we definitely do keep in touch. We keep it cordial. Kids gifts for holidays. I have that type of relationship with Everybody who's in a relationship that I know of, that's like I said before, y'all, that is the way that it should be. Like I said, 2020 is the year of growth for me, the year of learning, the year of stop making excuses for myself or for my situations. And so, like I told you guys before in the last video, 
this is a platform where I want you guys to be able to learn from me and my mistakes and take whatever you can from me, whether it be don't do, don't do this or do this. Um, in this situation, don't be like me. You know what I'm saying? Form your own opinion for yourself. Talk to the person or the girl and see if you guys can come to a common, common ground. Sometimes there's people in the world who you just don't like, you're not going to like because of the situation or because they're disrespectful. Those type of people you can't save and you don't, I wouldn't put my neck out for anybody. Try to put out a good energy and if they reciprocate that good energy, there's no reason for you to have any type of bad blood with an ex or mm-hmm. a baby mama. Even if they don't have a good relationship with the person that you're with or with your or with your common denominator, that has nothing to do with you guys. You know what I mean? Especially when there's kids involved, it's easy it's better to just try to put the BS aside. Exactly. Like I said, I've been that person that was like, nah, never. There's no never, no, never, no way, ever. I'm not ever. I would never be cool. But now it's like, why not? At the end of the day, why not? It doesn't hurt me to be accepting. It doesn't change anything. There's still going to be. Okay. Now, I like this video, this content that Christy put out. Um, I, I don't know if you can see this at the bottom. Let me try to pull it up. Well, I can't do it. Hold on. I'm trying to give you out the video that she, uh, just did. With that, my husband, baby mama called me and we fought. Well, that's a clip, baby, of course. But, but, um, overall, I like the video. I like the video that she put out. Um, Christy, that's uh, one of the positive things that you can do for our community, you know, is uh, to put out content content like, like this, videos like this. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, that's one of the things that, you know, you can do to uplift us as black women and stuff like that. But I, I really do appreciate it, especially um, how to deal with baby mamas and all that kind of stuff and how we can all put our children together and because they are siblings they all are siblings you know how they can play together get along with each other um you know should no 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 mamas should be fighting each other and all that kind of stuff especially it's the same pen y'all been on and all that kind of stuff yeah i mean at the end of the day it's about the children so, Christy is right about that. At the end of the day, it's about the kids. No matter you birth the kids or not, they all siblings. They all siblings. So, Christy, continue to push positive uh, videos out there like that. And, uh, can we please get a break from these ratchet videos that y'all be putting talking about um pregnancy skirts and all that kind of crap come on now please can we please but i like content like this and i also like the contact that you did for easter for your kids and how you made the uh easter basket i love that christy i love to see your kids doing the easter egg hunt um, open day um, baskets and stuff like that. I like to see contact, content like that. I love it. I love to see family go, come together, um, do cookouts and stuff like that. Birthday parties, activities. I love that. I don't like the other stuff y'all be putting out, ratchet stuff. But um, continue to uh, do it, Christy. This is a positive video, you guys. So this is Michelle Testimony. This is a little light to our uh, community. A little light. All right? Well, y'all be blessed. Bye.